Now we're going to talk about circles in standard and general form. Start with the definition of a circle. A circle is the set of points in a plane that are equidistant from a fixed point called the center. The fixed distance from the center to the point on the circle is the radius. So get that written down and into your brain, but let's pick it apart a little bit too, because one thing that, I, that we mentioned is that it is, a, it is a set of points. A circle is a set of points, or a locus of points is another way to say it. And we have to state in a plane. Plane is a flat surface. If we didn't say, say that it was in a plane, then we would have the definition of a sphere. And the radius is that length from the center to the set of points. Okay, let's do an example. A standard form of a circle's equation. I'm going to draw a little circle here. And the center of the circle is going to be at H, K. Those are the two letters that we generally lose, use for, for centers of things. And the radius connects the center to a point on the circle, which is going to be just X, Y. And so the uh, equation in standard form is going to be the quantity X minus H squared plus the quantity y minus k squared equals r squared. So if I want to write the equation of a, uh, a circle whose center is at 0, 0 and whose radius is 2, it's x minus 0 squared plus y minus 0 squared equals 2 squared. I'm just plugging in, plug and chug. So this means it's going to be x squared plus y squared equals 4. Okay, go do your checkpoint number 3 and then come back. Okay, example number four. The standard form, write, write the standard form of a circle whose center is at negative two, three, and whose radius is four. So let's remind ourselves of what the uh, formula is. So it'll be x minus minus two squared plus y minus three squared equals four squared. Or x plus two plus y minus three, x plus two squared plus y minus three squared equals 16. Okay, so go and do your checkpoint number four. Here's another example. We want to use the standard form uh, to graph this circle. So what we have to do, first of all, is pick out what our center is and what our radius is. The center will be at 2, negative 4, and the radius will be at the square root of 9, which is 3. Because remember that 9 is, represents r squared. So if I want to first find my center, which is at 2 minus 4, then I'm going to go ahead and draw my little auxiliary lines to keep my eyes moving in the right direction. And I'm going to plot my points two up, or 3 up, 3 down, 3 left, 3 right, and draw my circle. Okay. Now I also want to be able to identify the domain and range. When I'm looking at a graph that's been graphed accurately, it's pretty easy just to count back and forth to get um, what the domain and range is. But you can also do it by taking, let's say for the domain, we know that the, uh, let me get a different color here. We know that the um, center, the, the x coordinate is 2. So if we start off with 2 and we take away the radius, and then we, on the other side, we add the radius. So start with the coordinate and take away the radius on the, the left side and add the radius on the right side. So that's going to give us the, the uh, domain is from negative 1 to 5. And you can see that by looking at your graph here. The range, now we're going to take, instead of the x coordinate, we're going to take the y coordinate of the center, which is uh, negative 4. And we're going to subtract 3 and then add 3. So we'll have negative 7 and negative 1. And you can see that, once again, it's from negative 1 to negative 7. So you can do it visually, and you can do it algebraically. I expect you to be able to do both. Okay, so do your checkpoint number 5. And here we are back. The general form. x squared plus y squared plus dx plus ey plus f equals 0 where D, E, and F are real numbers. Now, this kind of 
equation is going to pop up again for an ellipse and for a parabola and for a hyperbola for all the conic sections. So let's convert from the general to the standard. So as an example, here is the general form of a circle. And we want to convert it back to the standard so that we can more easily graph it. That way we can see where the center and the radius is. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the x terms together. And we have an x squared and a 4x. I'm going to put them together and then leave a little bit of room to complete the square. And we'll put the y terms together and leave a little room to complete the square. And we're going to move the negative 23 over to the right-hand side and make it a positive 23. Now, uh, taking 4 divided by 2 and squaring it will give us our, our constant term for here. And that's 4. So I also have to add it to this side to balance my equation. And this one is going to be minus 6 over 2, which is minus 3 squared, which is positive 9. So you have to add 9 on both sides. So now what does this mean? Well, this first perfect square is x plus 2, the quantity squared. And y minus 3, the quantity squared, equals 36. So minus 2, 3 is my center, and my radius is 6. Okay, let's um, graph this. So I, I have minus 2, 3 is my center. I'm going to draw my little auxiliary lines, and then I'm going to count 6 to the right, 6 to the left, 6 up, 6 down, and then draw this really wrecked-looking circle. Sorry about that. <laughs> and that's the graph of it. Okay, so go ahead and do your checkpoint number 6, and that's it. See you in class.